your life. Oh my God. Well, praise God. Well, <laughs> happy Sunday morning to you. Feliz Domingo por la mañana, Pastor Jose and Patricia. We want to welcome you to New Beginnings Church, a church you can call home. Amen. Where we honor God, we love families, we serve others, and we pursue excellence. And we yeah. have a passion for God and a passion for souls. We need to have this passion. You know, just like Jesus had a passion to go to the cross and die and take the sins. Mm -hmm. Amen. We need to have this passion to serve Him. Yes. We need to have this passion for souls because we are the church. We are the body of Christ. And who is he going to use? He's the head and we're the body. And we yeah. live here. He lays up in heaven. Amen. But he says, I'm with you. I'll never leave you nor forsake you. He's with us wherever we go. So wherever you are, just know that he's put you here to be a minister of reconciliation. Yes. Well, if pastor was here, where well, brother holy so-and-so was here, he <laughs> could lead him to the Lord. No, but you were there. Yeah. And God wants to right. use you. What about you? Amen. I'm excited. I don't know about you. Well, he's not finished with you. We're going to welcome all our NBC family, all the visitors, that, all of you that are joining us by audio and video. Amen. Prepare yourselves to receive. God has something for you. Amen. He's not finished with you. Amen. He's got great plans for you. See yourself that way. None of these plans include defeat. Right. Only win, win, win. Amen. Especially when you're on his side. When you're on his side, you're on the winning team. Yeah. Uh -huh. We never lose with him. Amen. Praise God. Thank you, Lord. So we're going to be talking uh, about, let's go to Jesus. What are we going to do? We're going to go to Jesus. Mm -hmm. Praise God. Amen. Number two. So prepare yourselves. Amen. Before Amen. we go any further, grab your sword, soldier of God. Amen. And let's make this declaration together. Yes. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Praise God. This is my Bible. I, I am what it says I have. I have what it says I have. I can do what it says I can do. Today, I'll be talking about it. God. I boldly confess. My mind is alert. My spirit is receptive. And I'll never be the same in Jesus' name. Woo. I'm excited. Now, I don't know about you. But you got to get yourself excited in Him. Amen. Yes, amen. Praise God. You know, Jesus had to do this on a daily basis. He knew when He came that He was going to be sacrificed. But you know, he went to the Father. Lord, Lord can, you, can, can, can you take this from me? Can this go by? Can we do it any other way? He said, but not my will, your will be done. Yes, yes. Amen. So we need to tell ourselves that. Say, you know, yeah. Lord, I, you know, I just want to be easy. I want to take it easy. <laughs> but not my will, your will be done. So we're going to press on. Amen. So let's serve him. And that's how we serve him. Yeah. I'm excited. I don't know about you. So get excited. A couple yeah. of things I want to read to you, and we're going to continue. We read them last week, but we're going to read them again. Amen. It says, don't sweat. When we say, let's go to Jesus, that means we're going to him, boldly going to the throne of God. We're boldly coming to cast all these things on him because he cares for us. As long as you're in this world, this negative world is just going to dump on you. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. And if you don't get it off of you, he says, renew your mind. Yeah. Amen. Renew your mind with the Word of God. Yeah. Study my Word. Amen. Feed your spirit, man, the Word of God. Because we're in a spiritual battle. And the only way to overcome that is the Word of God. So you yes. need it. If you think there's another way, there's no other way. Yeah. Jesus <laughs> made the only way. He yeah. says, I am the way, the truth, and the life. Nobody goes to the Father except through me. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. So you need Jesus. We need to be on his side. Amen. So praise God. It says, don't sweat the situation, the circumstances, the problems that come your way. Mm -hmm. And they're going to come your way. Oh, yeah. You can't, uh, you can't escape. Mm -hmm. These things are going to come your way. He says, but they are no match to your God. Mm -hmm. Amen. Amen. You better know who your God is. Mm -hmm. Amen. He says, God is bigger than any problem. Yes. Amen. And he's God on the mountain. Yeah. And there's going to be some mountains. There are going to mm. be some storms. There are going to be some giants coming your way. Oh but greater is he that's in you than he that is in he the world. In the Whatever world. comes against you, as long as you're with God, you know, when David went against his giant, he knew God was backing him. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Amen. You need to know that when you go in front of your giants, you know, yeah. God is with you. Yeah. And God is backing you. And, you know, when you start speaking the word of God, the Bible says, submit yourself to God, and the devil's got to flee. Yeah. Yes. Amen. Submit yourself to God. Resist him. Take authority yeah. over him, and he's got to go. That's it. Amen. I'm not afraid. Of he's afraid of the word of God that's coming out of you. I say, man, she's changed. Man, he's changed. Yeah, because I'm confessing the word now. I used to confess all the word, negative stuff the world put out. And I'll just 
like a parent, you know, confessing everything, saying everything. But it don't mean a hill of beans, you know. Let's confess what the Word of God says. Amen. Woo, hallelujah. So I just want you to have that little nugget that's there. I've got another one for you. It goes like this. The world, the enemy, <laughs> friends, they want your attention. The devil, the world are constantly striving for your attention. So you got to be careful. Even I, I think I said last, last week, since we were in grade school, it's always, can I have your attention? <laughs> Amen. And your parents want your attention and they got ways to get your attention if you're not paying attention. Mm -hmm. Amen. <laughs> Says oh, yeah. the minute your feet hit the floor in the mornings, mm -hmm. he is right there to place cares, to place anxieties, worries, fears, doubts, frustration, stress, sickness, and so many more. Does that sound familiar? Yep. Man, you immediately start thinking, man, my mind is busy. All the things I have to do. Amen. I ain't even spent time with him. Well, I'll catch you later, Lord. <laughs> later, later, later. And that becomes still bedtime. By the time you hit bed, you're so tired, you're out. Amen. Mm -hmm. um, I, that, that, that don't apply to you. I know it's just, just me. <laughs> <laughs> it says, and so much more over you, even before the day begins. Remember, the devil has no place in your life that's it the devil has no place in your home he should have no place in your race he puts yes. you on this to, to, to complete this race mm -hmm. but he has no place there amen unless you open the door and let him in the devil has no power over you mm -hmm. he has no place he has no power the devil has no authority in your life unless you give it to him you know you ever picked up somebody and gave somebody a ride? Oh, yeah. Well, you got to be careful because if you're not confessing the Word of God, you're going to confess negative things. And next thing you know is you just open the door. You stop, open the door, and let the devil in. Yeah. <laughs> and guess what? Now he wants to be, now he wants to now he wants to drive for you. Oh yeah. And he don't know when to get off. No, that's unless it. you tell him to get that's off. It. I say, wait a minute. I picked up the wrong thing. I confessed the wrong thing. Mm -hmm. So repent. And get back on right. Yeah, and get, yeah, get yeah. right. When you yeah. rebuke him, he has to flee. Yes. I said, I said something, but I take it back, Lord. I confess, I repent, and no, you have to go in Jesus' name. Mm -hmm. And he's he's got to go. Amen. <laughs> so pay no attention to him. Seek God first. When you wake up every morning with praise in your lips and a song in your heart and yes. a scripture in your mind, mm -hmm. nothing can stop you. Yes, yes. Except we said this, except you. Yeah. Amen. You know, when you look in the mirror in the more early in the morning when you wake up and you see this beautiful things that are standing before you. Uh -huh. <laughs> we got to deal with this because that's your biggest problem. Mm -hmm. Amen. We got to deal with it. Deal with it according to what the word of God says. Amen. Man, he loves you. He sacrificed. He gave his life for you. Yes. But you got to do something because yes. the enemy is busy. That's he it. comes to steal, kill, and destroy. That's it. Amen. You can do something about it, mm -hmm. and you. But but you have to get in the Word, and you have to renew your mind to the things of God in order yes, to do what He wants you to do. And I'm going to fulfill what He wants me to do. I think I've said it like this before. This world, words, things will try to stop you from fulfilling what God has called you to do. So don't give in to those things. Amen. Amen. Press on. I'm going to do. I'm going to make it with Him. Mm -hmm. With him on my side, let's go to Jesus. <clears throat> Amen. We can't go wrong. We go to Jesus yeah. each and every time. Woo. Now, bless you. <laughs> Our message today is let's go to Jesus, number two. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so, prepare yourselves to receive what God has for you. Mm -hmm. And thank you, praise team. They just sang that beautiful song. And, uh, and it blessed me. I don't know about the rest of you, but come prepared, you know, because... If you don't come prepared, you say, oh man, the Cowboys playing today. <laughs> <laughs> There's other kind of distractions. Actually, we haven't fellowship after this. We yeah, won't hold you yeah, long. Yeah. <laughs> we won't keep you long. <laughs> I won't be long. <laughs> but still, we got to go to Jesus each and every time. Amen. It says, the song goes like this. It says, well, it's a long song, but... but <laughs> Part of it, it says, let's go to Jesus and show him our heart. Mm -hmm. Show him our pain. Show him our scars. Let's go to Jesus. Together we'll meet. And we'll lay all our burdens mm -hmm. at his feet. Yeah. Amen. 
So we can do this. Amen. Because you're going to meet people out there and they're going to share with you. Yeah. And you're going to want to know, how do you make it? How do you do it? Mm -hmm. Well, I go to Jesus. Mm -hmm. Amen. And lay it at his feet and leave it there. Mm -hmm. That's how I do it. And you can do the same thing. Yeah. Do you have Jesus in your heart? <clears throat> well, you know, it's time. It's time that you make Jesus your Lord and Savior. And start serving him. And he wants to use you. Man, you start picking them up, lifting them up, you know, instead of putting them down and saying things you ain't supposed to say. So, let's go to Jesus. I've got other things I want to share with you. We're not even there. Uh, we're not even there yet. Okay, let's go to Jesus too. Give, cast it all on Him. It says, the weights, the cares, the problems, the burdens sometimes feel overwhelming. Don't try to carry it all by yourself. Mm -hmm. It says, let's go to Jesus mm -hmm. and give him all these things. Amen. And we're going to lay them there. Amen. Yes. Give it to him. Give it all to him. Not a, some. He says all to yeah. him. So we go to him. Letting go and letting God. Letting the ugly go mm -hmm. <laughs> and giving it all to him. And he'll, what does he do? He'll forgive and forget. Yes. Amen. Yeah. But the enemy friends or whoever yeah. will come and remind you mm -hmm. <laughs> I ain't gonna forgive you well I he's forgotten he's forgiven and he's forgotten about it so we need to do the same thing yeah. if you've confessed it he's gonna forgive and forget forget about it so you need to do the same thing because right. enemy is going to see he's going to send somebody your way to remind you mm -hmm. what you've done or what That's happened it. amen yeah. but hey we put it under it's under it's under the blood. Amen. Putting the past behind and pressing on. Yeah. We can all fall, but have you gotten up? Some of us are still down. Some of us are still hold held down by things of this world. We gotta be careful. We let it go. Confess it and get up. And when you get up, you know, you ain't, you don't have to get all you have to do is press on. Because he's ready for you to press on. Only thing holding you back is yourself. Only thing holding you back is is this world, yeah, or whatever else, this, yes, whatever right. uh, other distractions try to hold you back. Uh -uh. As a matter of fact, <laughs> uh, well, don't bring your past, your cares, or your problems into this new day. Oh, it's a new day God has given us. So what are we gonna yes. do each and every day? Mm. He says in Psalms one eighteen twenty four. I'm yeah. going to give you the easy to read verse so we can understand it. <laughs> it says, this is the day the Lord has made. It says, let us yes. rejoice and be glad. Be glad. Excuse me, it says, the, the easy to read version says, let us rejoice and be happy today. Yes. Not tomorrow, not in the past. Yes. It says today. Yes. And I wrote in there, I will rejoice mm -hmm. and be happy Amen. today. Or you could say, Jose, <laughs> or you could put your name there. Jose will be, will rejoice and be happy mm -hmm. today. Amen. We got to tell ourselves because if you, st the Bible says to walk by faith, not by sight. That's it. Because if you go and you see sight and you start hearing the negative things, you know, oh, you're going to, you're not going to feel well. Nope. Man, we're back to the mm. same old mess. Mm. Just like the little hamster on the little mm. wheel, you know, yeah. you're just going a hundred miles. Mm. But it's the same thing. Yeah. It's a new day he's mm. given us. We got to think this way, renew our minds, because He's given us a new day to serve Him. Amen. Amen. If we just get in His, uh, I don't know how to say this, rug rat. Is, rut, that, rut. is that right? Yeah. Rut, rut. rut. We forget in this. Right. We start thinking that way. Man, the same old thing, same old thing. Mm. And we start thinking this way. But yeah. listen, if you think this way, this is the day the Lord has given me. Mm. I will rejoice I'll and be rejoice. glad in it. Yes. You got something to do. Yeah. He's giving you a new day. He's woke you up. Yeah. Thank God for a wake up oh, call. Hey, but yeah. now what do I do? Rejoice mm -hmm. and be glad in it. That's right. Amen. Amen. Regardless of what's happening out there. Amen. Amen. He's with me. And I'm casting all these things. I've gone to Jesus. We're going to Jesus. Uh -huh. And giving him all these things. So yeah. why are you still holding on to him? Mm -hmm. Why are you still worrying about it? Oh. If you're going to pray about it. Don't worry about it. Mm -hmm. But if you're going to worry about it, why pray? Yeah. All right. Okay. Which one are you going to do? You have a choice here. That's I mean, it. That's it. you That's have it. the mind of Christ. So All think right. like he thinks. Yes. Amen. Pray, give it, and leave it. 
Amen. Amen. That's it. Good preaching. <laughs> Let me read this to you. I mean, you can turn there if you want to, but uh, Matthew 6, 33 and 34 in the NIV. Yeah. New International Version says this. Says, says it like this. It says, but seek first his kingdom, kingdom, his righteousness, and all these things will be given to you as well. Amen. It says, therefore, do not worry about tomorrow, for mm -hmm. tomorrow will worry about itself. Oh, yeah. Each oh, day has enough trouble That's of its so own. That is so true. Yeah. And, you know, we've doubled it. I mean, we, we've tripled it or whatever. We mm. still carry in the past. Mm. Don't be a prisoner of your past. Amen. Let it go. Amen. Let it go. So, we're just taking care of today. The uh, 118 says, be happy, rejoice and be happy today. Mm -hmm. If you're not doing this, it's because you're worried or concerned about some situation. Yep. You got to give it to the Lord. Yeah. Amen. And he can't use you if you're all stressed out. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> if you're all stressed out, well, find somebody else. Oh, or call the pastor. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Each day has enough trouble of its oh, own. own. That's so true. Amen. <laughs> so in the uh, easy to read version, Matthew 6, 34, mm -hmm. says what you should what you should want most in God's kingdom is doing what he wants you to do. Mm -hmm. What do I want in God's kingdom? Do what he wants me to do. Mm -hmm. So you have something to do. Yes, yes. You know, you pass it on to somebody else. Well he always calls on somebody so mm -hmm. so and so <clears throat> because He's knocking and you're not opening. You're not answering. You're not answering. Come on now. Come on. Mm -mm. Wow. You got to answer. Mm. And then it says, then he will give you all these other things mm. you need. Yes, yes. Not, not that you want. He says, yes. need. Big difference. <laughs> big, big difference. So 34 says, so don't worry about tomorrow. Each day has enough trouble of its own. Oh, yes. Sounds yes, familiar. Yes, yes. It says tomorrow will have its own worries. Mm -hmm. Amen. So. Don't double your problem. That's it. <laughs> Just stay in today. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Lord, we're going to see this day through. We're going to rejoice and be glad. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And God's going to use you in a special way. Yes. Remember yeah. I told you earlier today, yeah. I'm God's favorite child. Yeah. <laughs> so don't be jealous. You be God's favorite child. Yeah. That's the way I see myself. So that you see yourself that way. Yes. God's I'm God's child. favorite child. You know, somebody going to get mad and says, why? You know, and they're going to say, things about you yeah. well, you could be the same same way right. he, he, he has no favorites just to sure no see yourself that way these cares these problems these burdens we have on a daily basis if you take the care <laughs> says you can take the care if you want to but you don't have to yeah, right. you can let it go if I give you a gift it's not yours until you take it once you take it it's yours yeah Okay, so there's a care coming your way. Are you going to take it? Or are you just going to say, wait a minute, that's not for me. That's not of God. I'm just releasing it. I'm letting it go. I'm not, I'm not taking it. Don't take the care. Amen. Amen. Don't take it. You feel hopeless if you do. You feel hopeless. You feel overwhelmed. And we used to use this word a lot. Overstressed. Huh. I mean, how do you feel? Man, I feel so overstressed. <laughs> so a lot of us have been there. Amen. So, and, and then when we do these things, you know, your, your, your flesh is talking to you. And what do you want to do? Well, you talk to the, the wrong people. Uh -huh. And you confess to the wrong people. And they're going to tell you what to do. Mm. I got something you can take that's going to help you a lot. <laughs> I got something you can drink that's going to bless you. Mm. You know? <laughs> well, get high on the most high. Amen. Amen. Drink him. <laughs> Amen. <laughs> drink the word. And take it in. It's going to bless you so well. Amen. There's no way out. You don't see your way out. Man, when you're overstressed, you don't see your way out. Because you're trying to deal with me. I'm, I'm trying to deal with this overstressed problem here. Mm. Some of you give, want to give up. Some of you, some give up. Mm -hmm. And that's, that's, not, that's not a good thing. Yeah, no, it's not. Some people are like failures. Uh -huh. But listen. I wrote this. Not for believers. 
this should not be for believers. Mm -hmm. If we confess the word, if we have a relationship with him, and we're studying mm -hmm. and meditating and confessing the word of God, this is not for believers. Why? Because believers take the truth, and the yeah. truth sets you free from all these yeah. things. Amen? It sets you free from all these things. What are we to do? We're to rejoice and be glad and be happy in this new day. Yeah. Amen? So, and I, I, I wrote this too. Believers should not, believers should be the happiest people on oh, earth. Yeah. Amen. When That's you're it. the happiest people on earth, people are going to see, they're going to be upset because you should be stressed out every day. Well, how do you do this? You know, every day when I'm off work or during the day, I feel so stressed out. But you're always smiling. Why? They want to know. <laughs> they, they ticked off because <laughs> you should be stressed out like them, but you're not. What is the difference? The difference is <laughs> I go to Jesus. Amen. Amen. And I give him all my cares and all my problems, all my anxieties, all, all these things. And you all can right. do the same thing. Yes. Do you want freedom? <laughs> Amen. Yes. Well, then confess him as your Lord and Savior. Some of you Absolutely. watching, some of you listening on this. Amen. You've been running from him too long. Mm. And you've got all these problems. Mm. And you brought all these things upon yourself. Mm -hmm. And you don't see yourself like he sees you. He sees yourself. You see yourself down. The world looks you down on you. But God says, you know, hey, mm -hmm. I've set my son. I've sacrificed my son. I've gave you freedom. But you're not receiving it. Yep. Confess him as your Lord and Savior today. Yes. And you can have all the freedom mm -hmm. that you need. Amen. Woo, hallelujah. Amen. That blessed me. I don't know if he blessed you. <laughs> first Peter, one of our texts from last week, first Peter uh, 5, five uh six through ten. And I'm gonna read it to you from the easy to read version. Which one is it? Uh first Peter five, chapter five, verse six through seven, uh ten. Six through ten. Okay. It says, So be humble under God's powerful hand. Mm -hmm. Then he will lift you up yes. when the right time comes. Remember, mm -hmm. if you're going to lay it at his feet, mm -hmm. leave it there. Don't take it back. Yeah, yeah. <clears throat> leave it there. He's going to yeah. do it at the right time. Yeah. When it's the right time, well, that's God's decision. Mm -hmm. Amen. Give all your worries to him. Cares, worries, whatever. Give it all to him mm -hmm. because he cares for you. Yes. Verse 8 says, control yourself and be careful. The devil is your enemy. Mm -hmm. And he goes around like a roaring lion looking for someone to attack and eat mm. devour yeah amen yeah. says nine says refuse to follow the devil mm -hmm. you refuse yeah. but if you don't have a word in you if you don't have god with you mm -hmm. you're not going to refuse okay you're just going to go with the flow yeah, you. you're just going to go with the flow mm -hmm. hey you know everybody's doing this so hey mm. i don't want to be the only one out so yeah. i'm going to go with the flow oh, wow. amen well I'm not going to go with the flow. <laughs> I'm going to go. God says, go right. Everybody's going left. Mm. So I'm going to go the way he wants me to go. Yeah. Amen. Right, Re says, refuse to follow the devil. Yes. Stand strong in your faith. Yes. No fear. Amen. When you stand strong in your faith, guess what? You're going to step out in faith mm -hmm. each and every time. And I'm believing him. When you believe him and you trust him, you're stepping out in faith. Yes. If you're not stepping out in faith, and you're not following him, you're in fear. Yes. And fear yes. is going to hold you back yes. each Absolutely. and every time. It didn't say the just walk by fear. It no. says the just walk That's by faith. faith. Mm -hmm. Amen. And you're stepping out in faith. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Fear will hold you. It's false evidence appearing real. Yeah. Yeah. That's yeah. what fear yeah. is all about. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. So let's remember this. We're not fearful. Don't be fearful. Be faithful. Enemies got something opposite all the time. Absolutely. We're to be faithful, committed, yeah. and not fearful. When you're fearful, you're not going to mm -hmm. volunteer for anything. Yeah. <laughs> you're going to hold back because I can't do that. He told Noah to build an ark. Mm -hmm. I, can't, I don't know. I don't know what that is. <laughs> yeah. He told uh, Moses to lead his people. You know, he said, "Well, I can't speak." Mm. All kinds of things. He told Jonah to go into Nineveh and speak the word. He says, no, I'm not. <laughs> <laughs> but you know what? When he found himself in, uh, when he found himself on a ship and the storms came, you know, he went and told the captain, says, you know, I'm your problem. Mm. He said, if you throw me overboard, 
your problems be over. And guess what? <laughs> it threw him overboard. But when he found himself, when he found himself in the belly of the big fish, uh -huh. God prepared that fish for him. Yes. Amen. When he found himself in the belly of the mm -hmm. fish, oh, then he says, well, let's go to God. <laughs> He found himself, well, I guess I'll go to God, you know, just like a prodigal son, you know, he found himself down and out, mm -hmm. eating with pigs. He says, well, mm -hmm. I need to go to God. Let's go to God. You know, we find ourselves in that situation, mm -hmm. but now let's, let's go to Jesus. Yes. Amen. Yeah. And guess what? He never turns you down. Never. Mm -hmm. Just like friends do, just like the world does. Mm -hmm. You're not good enough. You're not qualified. Mm -hmm. Man, you are no good. Mm -hmm. God says he's qualified you for each and everything he's called you to do. That's it. That's it. If he's qualified you, you don't need the world's approval. Mm, that's right. We Amen. just press on with God. Amen. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. And you'll make a way for you. Amen. Mm -hmm. Man. And the world will be yeah. mad because they want to put you down. God lifts you up. Remember, uh, what's his name? Uh, Joseph. <laughs> mm -hmm. Every time they put him down, they put him in the, in the, in the, in the prison. They put him in a hole. Yeah. No, well, his brother says, let's kill him. Yeah. <laughs> no, he says, well, we're just giving him slavery. Mm. Oh, that's great. Yeah. <laughs> oh, my gosh. And mm. every time they put him down, God rose him up. Yes, he did. He's yes. going to do the same thing to you. Amen. When you stay on God's side, he's going to raise you up. God's going to promote you. Amen. Yes. God's going to, the enemy, the world wants to keep you down. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. God's going to raise you up. Yes, yes. And they can't stop it. That's it. Because you're on God's side. Mm -hmm. Amen. And you're serving God. And God's going to promote you yes. to come up. And he promoted Joseph. You know, he was second in command yes, over Lord. the whole Egypt, you know. Amen. And every time he was put down, God rose him up. Yes, Amen. Amen. But he was faithful. Mm -hmm. Amen. You Amen. be committed and you be faithful. Mm -hmm. And don't let things, signs of this world change you. Because there's going to be all kind of negative signs right now. Oh, yeah. But still say, hey, I got to be busy about my father's business. Yes. Yep. Faithfully serving him. Mm -hmm. I forgot what I was. <laughs> <laughs> <Praise God. laughs> so have no fear. Yes. He's not giving us a spirit of fear, That's but a it. power mm -hmm. of love mm -hmm. and of a sound yeah. mind. Mm -hmm. But the enemy wants to put fear on you. You know when you start being fearful? Mm -hmm. When you start walking away from God. Yeah. yeah. When you stop having a relationship yes. with him. That's, That's when you feel fearful yeah. because you're taking on the care again. Mm -hmm. You're picking up that care. Mm -hmm. Don't pick up the care. That's Say, wait it. a minute. I need. I, he says, I need to renew my mind. <clears throat> I need to spend time with him. Amen. When you do that, he's going to lift you up. Verse 10 says, yes, you will suffer for a short time. But mm -hmm. after that, God will make everything right. Yes. He will make you strong. He will support you. Yes, he will. And keep you from falling. Yeah. Uh -huh. He is the God who gives all grace. Yes, yes. He chooses you to share in his glory in Christ. Amen. The glory will continue forever. Yes. Amen. <laughs> Hallelujah. You can write this one down too. It says Psalms uh, 55, 22. What's Psalms 55, 22? I'm going to read it to you again in the easy to read version. It says, it says, give, cast your worries to the Lord, mm -hmm. and He will, and He will care for you. Yes, He will yeah. never let those who are good be defeated. Mm -hmm. Never means never. Never. Yeah. Amen. He won't let you be defeated. Mm -hmm. Amen. The world, people, whatever, they'll put you down to for mm -hmm. to defeat, but God will never see you that way. Yeah. Amen. That's what they try to do with Jesus. And Jesus. Chose, he says, not my will, but your will be done. Yes. And he fulfilled all this, and God rose him. Absolutely. Amen. They killed him. He gave his life. He says, Father, forgive him. He gave his life. He rose again. Mm -hmm. Amen. They couldn't kill him. Mm -hmm. Amen. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna, I'm gonna read this the best way I can. So bear with me, okay? Get you. <laughs> <laughs> Listen to this. Every city. Even Martha, a small town, we have, <clears throat> well, not Martha, but Alpine, we have <laughs> what is called our trash department. Or a nice nice way to say it is sanitation department. Mm, uh -huh. Amen. 
Well, let me let me read it to you this way. Thank God for our trash department workers. Thank you, Lord, mm -hmm. for having this. Thank thank you for having this job. I'm first. I'm gonna lift them up. Some of us take it for granted how low we think about them. Yeah, you know, it's a low job. Mm. But listen, somebody's got to, it's a job somebody has to do. Hey, Otherwise, yeah. we'd be covered in trash. That's it. We'd be covered in junk. Mm -hmm. Amen. So when you get a chance and you get to meet them, sometimes I meet them out there and I say, thank you. I appreciate what you do. You know, some, some of them don't know what to say. Some of them smile. Some of them just uh -huh. look at me. You know, it's like, who are you? But appreciate your helpers. Yes. Appreciate your workers. Yes. Appreciate people. Because God is their God. Maybe some of them haven't accepted him yet. Mm -hmm. Amen. Let me see how I wrote it. I want you to I want to say thank you. Meet them sometimes and say thank you. Appreciate them. Pray for them. You know, instead of putting them down and talking about them and say, Well, that's why you got the lowest job. Or that's why you do this, or this is what happened, why mm -hmm. this and this and this. Yeah, yeah. But listen to this beautiful way of presenting Jesus as our Savior, as our trash man, and how He can clean us and take our garbage, our yeah. sins, Whoa. so that we can clean and serve Him. Yeah, yeah. Mm. Wow. He said, Bring me all your trash. Mm -hmm. And I will take it. Mm. Amen. He knows what to do with it. Yes, He does. He says, our trash man, he cleans us and he takes all our trash, all our sin, so that we can clean, we are clean, we can be clean to serve him yes. and fulfill what he's called us to do. Amen. He can take our garbage of sin and shame, heavy bags of regrets, and cast it on the landfills of forgiveness uh -huh. and forgetfulness. Mm. Come on now. Right. Yeah. That's good. He's put it in the landfill. He's buried it. He's gone. Somebody brings it up or it comes in your mind. The battlefield is the mind. Mm. So you got to renew your mind. If I gave it and it's gone, why is it coming back? Mm. Renew yeah. it. Delete. Get out. Mm. Get rid of it. It's the yeah. enemy. Yeah. Jesus has done this for us. He's taken all our old trash, mm -hmm. baggages of sins, and exchanged it for a new beginning and a new life. Yes. Same Corinthians 5 17, the NIV says, Therefore, if anyone is in Christ, he's a new yeah. creation. New creation has come. The old has gone, the new is here. Yeah. The old is gone, the new is here. Mm -hmm. But you got to be in the word to understand mm -hmm. this. You had a spiritual birth. Yeah. I still look the same. I'm still the same age. But I had a spiritual birth on the inside. Yes. It's a spiritual battle. Amen. Amen. I'm, I'm a new creature in Christ. Mm -hmm. I'm totally new. Forget about the past. The enemy, friends, people are going to mm -hmm. still bring your past up. Mm -hmm. You got to just know, I had a spiritual birth. The old is out, the new is in. Mm -hmm. I'm going to start a new life, a new life with him today. Yeah. And you know what he's going to say? He's not going to say, you got to do this, you got to do this, you got to whatever. Like man says, you got to go through all these steps. No, he says, it's time to press on and do what I called you to do. Mm -hmm. He's going to love on you and send you on your way. That's what we need to remember. Amen. When you see somebody down and out in sin, they haven't accept. But you lead them to Christ mm -hmm. so that Christ can start using yeah. them. He's gifted them just like he gifted you. But they chose not to accept him yet. Mm -hmm. Jesus, our Savior, who can take all our garbage sin on his shoulder and stand and stand. Amen. Yes, amen. John 3.16 says this. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that whoever believeth in him should, should not perish but have everlasting life. That's the uh, King James. The easy to read version says, yes, God loved the world so much that he gave his only son so that everyone who believes in him would not be lost but have eternal life. Yes. Jesus Christ shows his agape love. You know what agape love is? That's the highest form of love. We take love in one word. Yeah. Okay? The Bible breaks it up into, I think it's four or five different types of love. 
And agape love is the highest form of love. It's unconditional love. This is the way God yes. sees you. He loves you with agape love. Amen. Unconditional love. Amen. Unconditional love for us. He paid the price in full with his life. And I have a little list here. And we have it on our stand back there. But you know sometimes if God gave his only son. I mean he didn't have 10 or, or, or 20 of them. He had one son he gave his only right. son. Mm -hmm. But you know sometimes uh, we say well we, we, you know I'm, I'm nobody. I don't have any, anything to give. Mm -hmm. Listen. I'm glad you asked. Live to give. Yeah. Each and every day. Yeah. Since today is the day to give. Even when your bank account is a zero. Finances are not the only thing believers have to give. Believers yeah. have more to give. Yeah. God gave us his best. He gave Jesus. Jesus gave his best. Our salvation. Believers we can give our best. Mm -hmm. We can give a kind word. Yeah. We can give of ourselves. We yeah. can give uh, our hearts. We can give our love. Our compassion. Yes. We can give emotions. We can give good thoughts. We can give a thank you, a kind word, a cheerful yes. attitude, have a Amen. cheerful attitude. We can give uh, great appreciation, encouragement, honors, happiness, hope, and we can give a prayer. Yeah. Yeah. So don't say, I don't have anything to give. Mm -hmm. There's so many things that you can give. Yes. Amen. But when you just hold it on to yourself, well, you ain't going to give nothing. Mm -mm. But God released and gave his only son yes. we got many things to give it's not just about money you know right. that's yeah. all we ever think you know it's like all they want us to do is give them money no we got so many things to give leave give our love our joy our peace our patience our kindness our goodness our faithfulness our gentleness self-control mm. amen yeah be kind you know when you when you when you do it god's way People are going to see that. Mm. And, and it really blesses them. Mm. And they see the Christ like in you. Amen. Mm -hmm. I've said it like this before. You're the closest thing to a Bible some people will ever be, yes, yes. will ever see or be around. And they'll see the love of God just yes. flowing through yes. you. Amen. Mm -hmm. That's what we want. That's Amen. what we want to strive for. Be Christ like. Be imitators Amen. of God. Amen. Yeah. Be imitators of God. What can I do? I give myself to Him. Commit myself to Him, be faithful to Him, mm -hmm. and be Christ-like. Yeah. When people see, man, you know, something about you, their people, they'll see it. They'll, yeah. they'll pick it up in their spirit, you oh, know. Yeah. And they'll know, say, something different about her, something different about Him. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's Christ-like. Amen. Amen. Imitating Christ. Yes. You know, don't we most want to imitate the world. We want to imitate our Savior. Yeah. Amen. 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 <clears throat> Amen. So, Give, give, give. Don't just take, but give. He says, give. Uh, Luke uh, six thirty eight says, in the new, a new uh, King James says, give, and it will be given to you. Good measure, pressed down, shaken together, yes. and running over, running over, will be put into your bosom. Mm -hmm. with, a, with the same measure that you use, it will be yes. measured back to yes, you. Yes. Amen. <laughs> and. Just know, just know this. When you give, God's gonna bless you. Amen. And we can't outgive God. Don't yes, try to yes. outgive God because you can't. You know, God. you give, you give, you give, and these things are gonna come back to you. That's it. And that's because you're doing what the Word of God says. And when you do what the Word says and you're giving, He's gonna bless you and bless yes. you and bless you. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. So Amen. let's go to Jesus and give Him all. Give it all to Him. Cast it all on him. And I'll read this one scripture and when we can close. Amen. Amen. In Matthew 11, 28, 30. I want to read it to you from the New King James and from the easy to read version. I like that. <laughs> Matthew 11, 28, 30. It says, Come to me, all of you who labor and are heavy laden, and I will give you rest. Yes. Take my yoke upon you and learn from me, for I am gentle and lowly in heart. And you will find rest for your souls. 30 says, For my yoke is easy mm -hmm. and my burden is light. Come to me. Mm -hmm. Come to me. Amen. That's what we need to do. So it says, Come to Jesus. Yeah. <laughs> Let's go to Jesus. And the uh, easy to read verse says, it goes like this it says, 
come to me, all of you who are tired and heavy burden, and you uh, and have been forced to carry mm. burdens you've been forced to carry. I will give you rest. Accept my teachings. Learn from me. I am gentle, humble in spirit, and you will be able to get some rest. 30 says, yes, the teachings that I ask you to accept is easy. Mm. The load I give you to carry is light. Yes. Amen. So oh, yeah. praise God. Thank you, Lord. Don't run from God. Let's go to him. <laughs> Amen. Amen. So praise God. We're going to stop right there. Amen. Lord, yeah. and, uh, praise God. <laughs> we're closing right there. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Amen. Did you get something? Amen. <laughs> yeah. I did. It blesses me. You know, I got to pray to myself yeah. <laughs> before I come here. When they yeah. know, and then I get it again when I mm. bring it to you. Because a lot of times, the way I study it, and the Holy Spirit get a hold of it, it comes out all different. A, a di all different. Yeah. And so it blesses me too while yeah. I'm up here, you know. So, mm -hmm. But you need, the thing about it is you need to be open and you need to come ex hungry and expecting to receive something right, from it, right. you know. If you're just closed, you know, nobody can help you. Like I said, the biggest problem is, is here. Mm -hmm. And we got to fix this. There's no problems up there. There's no problems with him. That's it. Amen. No they did it all. Now we got to do our part. Mm -hmm. And we got to do our share. Amen. So yes. praise God. Hallelujah. And yeah. uh, you that are watching, you that are listening, you know, you've been running too long. Yeah. It's time to come home. Mm -hmm. Amen. The, Bi uh, the song said, the Bible says, let's go to Jesus. Mm -hmm. So you need to do the same thing. The prodigal son said, well, I need to go to God. I need to go to the Lord. We need to do the same thing. All you need to do is say, Lord, I have sinned against you. I repent. Come into my heart and be my Lord and Savior. Yeah. That's how easy it is. People mess it up and confuse it and make it hard. Complicate. Okay, complicate things, you yes. know. So just ask him to come into your heart, be your Lord and Savior. And you know what? He's going to do that. Yes. And the old is gone, the new is in. Yes. When you get yourself to a Bible-based church where they study the Word and teach from the Word, that's what we do teach the word and then you start studying meditating and uh and uh renewing your mind to the things of god yeah. and and he wants you to go he's not finished with you he's just barely starting with you but he 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 loves you and uh it's time you start living and doing for him because he's got great plans for you so you just decide it's time to come home if you have sickness in your body you know just confess the word to it I do all the time, you know, it's in body, line up with the word of God, receive your healing, malfunctions, I don't receive you. Amen. I want everything in my body to function just the way he created the function. Yes, yes we're getting older, that's all, I understand, yes. but still, I'm speaking the answer, I'm speaking the word over myself and not the problem, amen, yes. speak to it and say, by Jesus Christ, I am healed, yes. I don't care how many times you got to say it. But confess the word and not the problem. Amen. Yeah. So be healed in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. And it's time to give. So you see our website on the screen there, nbcbigben.com. Uh, if you're mailing it, NBC PO Box 252, Marfa, Texas, 79843. And Cash App, just go to New Beginnings Church of the Big Ben. Yeah. God loves you and we love you. God bless yeah. you. Amen.